<sighs> Damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! Shivers, everybody podcast episode 139. Got a special guest in the building, man. We got uh, she a last tech, goddamn, she a singer too. You get your singer on her, some of your singing songs or whatever. Oh, man. rapper, and she like to eat food. Ooh, a lot, Ooh, <laughs> yeah, a lot, yeah, a lot. You got Kayla, Kayla Wan on the, in the building. What's good? How you feel? I feel great. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. So yeah, you uh, yeah, you. I see you a singer too, though. Like, you ain't just rapping. You don't promote your singing too much. Not at all. Listen, mm. I'm not even gonna say I'm a singer because. When we in that studio, mm. that auto tune will be saving the day. I ain't gonna, you know, I go cat. I ain't yeah. gonna lie, I'm not Mariah Carey. Oh, no, for sure, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> now we start everything off though with a salute. Salute me while I'm here. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away, give them mm. their flowers, and just tell them how dope he or she is. Instead of you know what I'm saying doing that while they can still smell the flowers, right? But it can't be nobody in your immediate circle. So it can't be mom, pops. I don't think you got kids. Not at all. Okay, so it can't be mom, <laughs> pops. It can't be, you know what I'm saying, if you're in a relationship with Craig, it can't be Craig. It got to be somebody out of that immediate circle. So you got somebody you want to get some flowers to and give a salute? Um, Dan, you know what's crazy? Yeah. Since I started rapping, and granted, mm. I don't I don't expect, like I don't force it on myself. I don't expect to blow up or nothing like that. But mm. I've been making a list of people that I want to show appreciation For sure. to when that day comes. You can get my whole list. Shit, fuck it. Let's get it. Oh, see, that, that's a lot of yeah, names. Yeah, cut down this. Top five. Top five. Um, Leslie Winfrey. Okay. Um, that was the person that first discovered me in the studio and was like, let me manage you. Mm-hmm. And I was like, boy, bye. Yeah. <laughs> but he's put me in a lot of different places. Okay. Um, Shout out to Leslie. Yes. Uh, a middle school friend of mine, Tashani mm-hmm. Hutch. Okay. Also known as Only One to Shiny, he raps. Okay. And he was kind of like pushing me in the beginning too. Mm-hmm. Um, you said top five. Yeah. Ooh, so you had lists. See when you that list like, come, you the be list, like, Damn. The list come in handy. So let me. Oh, you got lists. You ready for this? Yeah, you feel me? Because <laughs> you know you gotta give credit when it's due. You gotta show appreciation when it's due, and you can't forget about everybody who's been there. For sure, I got so, you. So um, ninety uh, bands, man, K ninety nine beats. So that's that's four right yeah, there, yeah, yeah, for sure. and I'll say kills the dime. He's yeah. a producer. His dad is actually Dre Butters. Okay, I, I heard him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, so he has helped me too in my beginning stages. Yeah, for sure. But it's for sure. like you oh, see, yeah. it's like over fifty people. No, for sure. I'm gonna say you got a list. I'm looking like that's your top fifty. <laughs> right, right. No, that's what's up. Though it's always good to give you know, saying shouts and salute to people and stuff like that because. You know, you want to address those people that, you know what I'm saying, looked out for you on the come up. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I ain't got no salute, man. Salute you. Salute. I'm going to salute you for calling me and saying that you a tad bit late. Because some you. people, I say, fuck my time and don't even let me know what's going on. I ain't had niggas come an hour late. I had niggas hit me up two hours late saying they ain't going to make it. I nigga, of course, mm-hmm. nigga, it's two hours. Yeah, you ain't going to make it, fool. You're supposed to be here at 12. It's two. Right. So, yeah, right. so salute to you and everything that you got going on. I see you pushing this music heavy and stuff like that. So Salute to you for having yeah. me here and yeah. inviting me. I really appreciate that. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I appreciate it, appreciate it. Now, listen, when I ask you how you doing, you say you was blessing, you was doing good, though. Yeah. But what, but what, what is it when you're not doing good? Like, how do you, how do you, how do things go for you when things not good? Like, what do you do to find peace when things ain't good for you? Because everybody always say, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. I ain't never heard a person say, yeah, I'm bad right now. Like <laughs> Honestly, I went through a really dark moment in my life at one point. Mm-hmm. So my ways of finding peace was almost non-existent. Mm-hmm. I got to a point where I had to really like, for one, find God, mm-hmm. get my relationship better there. For sure. Um, I also go down to the water a lot, so Bilal yeah. or like any large bodies of water, and I'll mm. just sit and I'll think, I'll write. Mm. Um, definitely the music. The music was became an outlet for me. So no, for sure, for if you sure. don't have nobody to talk to, you always got a mic. Hell yeah, hell yeah, yeah shoot, you can get a lot of shit off your chest. Yeah, right. That, that pad and that pen for sure. <laughs> yeah, I always be wondering. People be. I kind of know sometimes when you ask somebody, yeah, how you doing? I'm good. Like, some people be that bitch bad as hell. Yeah. But don't want to say nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I know there's been some times, especially during the holidays, 
them holiday blues ain't no joke. When you got kids and you ain't got no and, and money kind of low, yeah, that shit could be the worst time of the year. Like and it's cold, like you cold broke, can't even provide enough for Christmas. I go through that a lot, honestly. Where I don't care to tell nobody what I'm going through. For sure, I don't care to ask for help. None of that. Granted, please ask for help if no, you. No, no, for sure. Ask for help, and I. It's me preaching to the choir, but like, cause I don't do it, but. Yeah. It it does open up a door. So people that don't go to therapy, I yeah. go to therapy. Okay. I believe in it strongly. I feel like everybody should see a therapist. Mm-hmm. So all my black kings and queens, please yeah. see a therapist. Not for sure. Even if you don't feel like you need help. Yeah. We yeah. come from the city, so you need help. Yeah. <laughs> Not for sure. <laughs> if yeah. you ain't a millionaire, even if you are a millionaire, but if you ain't a millionaire and yeah. your parents didn't have it right off, no, have for sure. Help. For sure, for sure. Especially if you ain't got nobody to talk to. I mean, right. of course, it's different from talking to your brother, sister, and a therapist, a licensed therapist, because for the most part, somebody close to you, you're going to tell you what you want to hear. Right. They ain't going to tell you the truth. But mm-hmm. it's it's kind of tough for people who don't have nobody out, you know what I'm saying, to give that, you know, crown their shoulder a little bit, you know what I'm saying, tell yeah. them what's going on. So, yeah, so, yeah. For those who don't, who need some help, man, hey, talk to somebody. Find somebody. Or if you ain't got nobody, find you a therapist and, you know what I'm saying, let them know what's going on. Yeah. So it, it's 2022. How your year been? Whew. Ups, My downs, year whatever. been rocky. Like, yeah. how these paws is in yeah. the city. Yeah. That's my <laughs> life. <laughs> yeah, up and down. Huh? Yes. You. One moment is smooth selling. Next moment, we in a ditch. Yeah, like, for sure. I done dealt with some crazy stuff this year. Yeah. What's the craziest thing that you can talk about? Um, See, I said talk about. Right, I, right, I, right. I, Let I me think if yeah. I want to put it out there you know mm-hmm. um i'm gonna try to censor it to my best ability but right, bad, bad, bad. um craziest thing i experienced was sheesh <laughs> 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 um just dealing with somebody and okay i see where you're going yeah, yeah realizing yeah, yeah. like really coming to terms with the fact that what you want for yourself mm-hmm. Is not what's meant for you. For sure. And that's the most simplest way that yeah. I could put it. Granted, I put yeah. that little phrase and can't compare it to what I experienced. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. That's the best way that I could put nah, it. No, for sure, for sure. Relationships can be crazy. Yeah. For real, for real. How you doing stuff that you're like, damn, this ain't even me. Yeah. <laughs> like, for sure. Fuck, I'm tripping. For sure. Yeah, we all done tripped a little bit. Damn. Yeah. I had some bad moments. Yeah, I ain't, man, yeah, I don't even talk about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> the bad moments we be in the business, like, cut, cut, nigga, hey, listen, cut that but shit But they make great music, so. No, for sure, hell yeah, that'd be the best music. Right. Like, Mary J. Blige, you want to hear her when she go through a heartbreak. Okay. She going to give you everything, Keisha Coles, like, you well, already know. Good Morning Gorgeous, I got to know the backstory. For sure. What's some, what's some good shit, though, this year? We don't want to just talk about the bad shit. Um, good things. Um, I've been able to collab with a lot of different people. Okay. I'm actually, I don't want to go too far into detail, but, um... Me and DLDBH are working on some things. I actually just did a cypher with him. Okay. And I've just been, really, the 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 main thing for me is just meeting new people. For sure, no. Like, and it's moving so fast. I yeah. would have never expected this to be moving as fast as no. it has. Hey. I run a business, and that hasn't even moved as fast as the music is Yeah, been. yeah, yeah, that's, it. that's, that's what's up. So, yeah. hey, salute to you for that. Hey, because sometimes with this music shit, it can go slow. Yeah. Nobody ain't hearing you. You can't get recognized out there, whatever, whatever. But how long you been rapping? Um, I started playing with it and heavy on the plan mm-hmm. in 2019. Okay, so yeah, you still kind of, you still new. Yeah. Hell yeah, you still new. I didn't drop a song for real until last year. And still, I was just like dropping stuff willy-nilly. Like, yeah, for sure. I don't really care. This yeah. is just fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, next year, because we're going to get on that music shit, I'd mm-hmm. like to get find out about you. Okay. Next year, you know what I'm saying, 2023 approaching, what's some goals or some things that you want to accomplish next year that's on your, you know what I'm saying, on your list? Um, <laughs> <laughs> the goals that I would like to accomplish is bringing my business and the music side mm-hmm. more together, mm-hmm. like making it not necessarily one, but allowing it to piggyback off of each other mm-hmm. so that I can always have the stability mm-hmm. mixed with I want to say a hobby but this ain't even really a hobby no more yeah hell it's getting, getting um, real yeah and besides that just keeping my focus up that's really my goal and mm-hmm. elevating because sure. I could say like 
materialistic goals, which everybody has, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. you know, life sometimes will throw a wrench and yeah. that might not be it. Hell yeah, for sure. But if I could just make sure I drop these videos, get mm -hmm. at least four, three to four EPs done mm -hmm. and a couple singles. Yeah, you'd be smooth. Yeah, I'd yeah. be smooth. Yeah, yeah. What's something, what's something you learned about yourself? Like, damn, I didn't even know I, could, I was capable of doing that or... You know what's crazy? I mean, I'm not sure if this is how you're actually asking it, but mm. I started this month mm. doing this thing um, courtesy of Tony Jones. She gave me the inspiration. She didn't necessarily say this, but mm. she um, forced upon me finding who you are, what type of person you are. Okay. So every day I've been going home and I'll write, who am I? Mm -hmm. And based on the type of conversations I had, based on how I've been reacting to things lately, mm. I've been writing that down, like yeah. really analyzing who I am as a person. Mm -hmm. So I've realized I am, I'm a different breed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of like what he has said. He has, he has showed like finding your purpose or what is your purpose? Or right. when, when do you know what you, some people is, is, is on this earth and don't even know what their purpose are, is in life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you say you write, you write things down to kind of figure it out right now. Yes. And again, I won't say the music is my purpose. I will say I genuinely feel like there's a bigger picture to my life and it's meant to help people. For sure, for sure. I'm meant to change lives. Granted, I don't know how I'm gonna do that yeah. or if I'll even get to the point where I do, I plan on it, mm -hmm. but I feel like I am meant to reach back and help a lot of people. No, fast. Cause I heard you say you wanna be like a motivational speaker too. Yes, I wouldn't mm. mind it. I, yeah. I do think about that because of the trials that I've went through in life mm -hmm. and the stuff that I've experienced. I know most people don't want to talk about. Mm -hmm. They don't want to put that on the line. And I want to be like that guinea pig yeah. the one who does say, well, this is what I went through and you shouldn't feel bad about it. Yeah, for sure. No, fast, fast. Because I, like I coach kids and I just had a conversation with him. I coach uh, girls right now. I coach boys too, but I'm with the girls right now. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times they be coming from these broken homes and you be wondering why they act so crazy until you meet the parents. Yeah. So me being that outlet, somebody they could talk to, somebody could let them know, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I went through this, do this. You know what I'm saying? You, go, you of right. course they might not listen, but you just try to give them as much game as you can. So at least you could be like, hey, she they fucking up, but I gave them as much game as possible to change how they, you know what I'm saying, how they look at things. Right. So yeah, you need especially with women, you need other women to look at cuz a lot of times like I said, we coming from these these homes and these homes be fucked up. Yeah, and it's a lot of girlies out here who it's the dads, man. Yeah. Like the dads not is present. missing. Yeah. Yeah, and that's yeah, that's all crazy. Cause yeah. then they looking for love to somebody who replaced their daddy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. And that creates a lot of the lost souls out here, honestly. Mm-hmm. And having a mom around who has to take the dad role and she mm. gotta do all these multiple different things. She yeah. gotta try to be an octopus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure. <laughs> you got, you know. You you create a different breed of a child. Mm -hmm. So no, fast, fast. They definitely need more guidance. Yeah, yeah, and, and guys, if y'all got having these kids, man, be around, motherfucker. Oh ass nigga, man. Yeah, <laughs> and like, don't put it on the women to just be so, uh, so stern about. Oh, I can't sleep with this man, and I can't sleep with that man. Granted, mm -hmm. please monitor your body, monitor the spirits that you're letting into your body, but. Mm -hmm. It's on the man and the woman. Y'all yeah, have sure. babies with a woman, and then you, you next thing you saying, oh, I can't deal with this. Yeah, no, no, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, da, da. But you decided to impregnate her just as much as she decided to open up. So. But on the flip side, ladies, y'all gotta watch who y'all who y'all letting in too. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. you knew Craig wasn't shit. You knew you knew Demario yeah. was no was was no right. good. But yeah. so you can't that, that go for both sides. I think it's a balance. Like we, the person you lay down with. And then you decide to have a baby or, you know what I'm saying, or a baby just uh, happens, you know what I'm saying, to come out yeah. the situation. You got to know who you're sleeping with. It's a lot of self-awareness with yeah. that. Yeah, you got to know you're sleeping with because some people are, yeah, ain't meant to be parents. And for some reason, it's like a trend. Everybody yeah. thinks that they're so ready at 19, 20, 21. Yeah. No, you're not. No, you're not because I had my, my, uh, my oldest son, his mom was pregnant when I was 19. So it's like when he came out, I'm like, God damn, like, like yeah. this shit real, like ain't no, ain't no going back in that boy. So, and, and I learned, you know, what I'm saying I was always a good father, I believe, but I learned over the way, you know, what I'm saying that, that that shit hard. Like if I would have waited a little longer, I I, I would have definitely did that. Yeah. But you know, what I'm saying, hey, I had kids, I had to take care of my responsibilities, had to get a job, and 
I'm still doing it. Yeah, and that's, I will say that. So kudos to the parents, the young parents who are pushing forward mm -hmm. and who have, or are making it happen because mm -hmm. I know it ain't easy. Yeah, hell And no. I can't even say because I'll I be in a situation, but that's scary yeah, for no, me. No, for sure. Hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. You got to be in the right situation. Yeah. And it's never a right time to have a kid. You just want to make sure you got that right partner. Even if y'all don't work out, like me and my oldest son, mom, we're not together, but we mm -hmm. good co-parents. You feel me? I yeah. can talk to her. She can talk to me. We still friends. There ain't no beef. I ain't bashing her on Facebook or she ain't doing the same that's thing. So yeah, if, if, even if y'all don't work out, still make sure you have a kid with somebody that you can count on to, you know what I'm saying, raise your kid right. Right. So what, what's something that's holding you back, though, in life, like, that you still do? Like, damn, I need to change this. I got to get this right. Or um, At this very moment, I think, I think I'm at a peaceful mindset. But my biggest issue before was self-doubt mm -hmm. and just kind of, like, worrying and, and letting social media and stuff consume my mind, mm -hmm. telling me where I should be yeah. and when I should be there. Like, yeah, I should have up. this much at this age. Yeah. Where, Realistically, everybody's journey is different. For sure, oh. everybody races. You know, what I'm saying totally Literally. different from each other. You might be broke to your forty, yeah. and forty one, <laughs> you yeah. the richest one alive. For sure, you done surpassed everybody you done grew up with. Mm -hmm. So it's it's trusting the process and really enjoying every moment. No, for sure, yeah. The downs and the ups, yeah, yeah. Because like I said, sometimes of course you want instant success. But sometimes you appreciate that grind, those years you went through it. Then you look back like, damn, I went through this, I went through that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, but I made it to here. You feel me? Yeah. So and realizing, oh, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. Realizing that what you see for real on the internet and stuff like that and everybody moving fast, that's just instant gratification. Mm -hmm. When you have patience, it's delayed, mm -hmm. but it's coming and it'll be the best feeling in the world Hell once yeah. you start getting to that point. Sometimes you just got to work on certain stuff. Like, mm -hmm. it might be your mentality. Maybe you ain't budgeting right. Yeah. Maybe you just don't know how to speak to people. And mm -hmm. these are things that you have to work on before you reach that destination. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. What, what's some of the worst advice and best advice you received since you've been doing this music show? I know it's been short. You know what I'm saying? You just started. You said 2019. Been putting music out since last year. What's some good advice and some bad advice you received? Um, well, I'll start with the the worst advice that I've gotten is, you have to have this amount of money, or mm -hmm. you, money is what genuinely matters. And mm -hmm. granted, money does matter, but nobody should focus solely on the dollar because mm -hmm. if you have a talent mm -hmm. and you are walking in the purpose that you're supposed to be walking in, everything will come in due time. No. Whether you got five dollars or a hundred dollars, you might have five and God just put people in your life that'll say, let me do this for you for yeah, free yeah. because I believe in you. Mm -hmm. And that has happened to me. Um, so when people say you need all oh, this thousands and thousands of dollars, you don't. Yeah. You need to know people, you need to network, and you need to trust. No, for sure. Um, best advice would be, um, again, shout out to Tony Jones. Mm. Um, she said... The village that you have around you, the people that you surround yourself with, are going to be what helps you most. Mm -hmm. And granted, I'm still in the works of creating that village, which is another reason why I'm doing this whole thing of who I am. Mm -hmm. Because I don't really have a lot of people that I can fall back on, really, and go to. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you have to self-evaluate. Like, yeah. is it you? Yeah, but not like, for sure. No, that's a fact. That's a fucking fact. So... That's the point I'm at now, and I do realize that that does matter. Being mm. genuine, creating genuine bonds, and just building a village. Yeah. It takes a village to raise a child, and in this situation, I'm the child. No. And what, what you just said made a whole lot of sense, and people don't recognize that. Sometimes it can be you yeah, without even knowing. Like, damn, I keep getting out of every relationship not working, and you blame everybody else, but then you got to look in the mirror like, dog, what am I doing wrong? Yeah, a I lot, went through... Oh, go ahead. No, a lot of motherfuckers don't want to sit here and really, like... Like, ask themselves that question. Yeah, literally. I went through a point where I was, like, victimizing myself. And mm. the thought of victimization will mm. eat you up and make you lose all essence of accountability. For no, stuff. for sure. Hell yeah. So, you got to get out that mindset that everything is woe is me and mm. realize, like, no, it's you. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. Hop in your bag and get your together. Yeah. Now, you're saying building a village and building a team. Have you had to eliminate some people and you're like, damn, like, I hate I had to do that, but it had to be done? I don't hate that I had to do anything. Okay. That's for one. For two, yes, I've had to kind of 
back up off of a lot of people's mm-hmm. situations and even like habits. Like I stopped smoking weed. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't. I I always had a limit on drinking, but it's certain things that I just don't do and yeah. people that I'm just not around. Not because it's beef or anything like that, but mm-hmm. because we're on two different playing fields mm-hmm. mentally, um, just in life. Mm-hmm. And some people don't realize that they're put into your life to hinder your growth. Yeah, no, for sure. Hell yeah. So, (laughs) like, for real. Like, and then I also noticed that, like, it don't be the person and their actions. It's just be whatever their... The the energy. The energy and what their mission is. Yeah, yeah. Like, their mission in your life might literally to be the F you over. Yeah. And it's not on them. It's just literally what their role is. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, hell yeah. So you got to weed that out. And every day I just ask God, you know, remove whoever is not meant to be around me and remove them faster than lightning hit the ground. Those yeah. are my words verbatim. Hell yeah. Now you say you, you stop smoking. Would you smoking to kind of like get rid of some of that pain? Cause I know like a lot of people smoke weed just to not think about what they're going through. Um, I've had my moments. Yes. Okay. Cause yeah. I smoke and be like, man, yeah, <laughs> man that, like, it is what it is. Yeah. But another part of it was just like, I won't necessarily say it became a habit for me. Mm-hmm. Cause like I went cold turkey real quick, mm-hmm. but it was something that I was doing like at my leisure because of how I started. Okay, all right. Yeah. So that yeah. Yeah. Can I, can I, how can I ask you how old you are? I'm 24. Yeah, you young. Know, you what you got your you like you got your head on right. Like you know how you know what you want to do. You got a you know what I'm saying you got a, a thought process and you and you going about it. A lot of people at that age ain't giving a fuck about what's going on. Yeah. Ain't giving a fuck about what they what they accept in their life and all that shit. So, hey, I think you going you on the right track. Thank you. You know what I'm saying. So yeah, keep it going. I got 24. I was. A, <laughs> I took care of my son, but everything else was like whatever. Like, yeah. Like I wasn't thinking about at the age I am now what I need to be doing or what I, you know, what I'm saying what need to be done. I was just kind of like living in the moment. Yeah. Like my whole thing was just trying to have fun, fuck around, whatever happened, happened, good or bad. I feel like it's because I've made a lot of mistakes, and mm-hmm. then when you know, like you just meant for something greater. Mm-hmm. At some point, you you start trying to seek that out. Like, yeah. I know I'm meant to be better, and it's not giving right no, now. No, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. So, yeah, salute to you and finding out, you, you know what I'm saying, such a young age, what you got to do and, and the changes that you got to make to be great. But uh, talk about growing up. How, who was in the household, siblings, mom and pops? Like, how, um, how was it as a young K? Uh, young K was... I was a sweetheart. Okay. Now, until I got to high school, I was a menace. Yeah, but yeah, tripping out. <laughs> I was a sweetheart in the beginning. I actually, um, my parents stayed in separate households. Okay. Um, my dad was my superhero. I ended up losing him the week before our birthday. His birthday is the day before mine. Okay. I was eight. Okay. So I lost him at a young age. Yeah. And rest in peace to him. Yes, definitely. Um, it was just me, my mom, and my brother, but okay. eventually that changed okay. drastically. Yeah. Um, a lot of my cousins, they didn't grow up in the best environments, mm-hmm. so it was my grandma and my mother's responsibility to kind of hold it down. For sure. So we all moved into the same household, and mm-hmm. it was about, all together, it was about 15 people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 15, yeah, yeah. yeah around that number. Yeah. It was my uncle's. His kids, like all my first cousins, okay. we all lived together yeah. with my brother, with my mom, with my great grandma, my grandma. Yeah. Like, now how was that for you? Like, you was like, damn, why is this happening? Was it exciting? Was it like, damn, why we got you know, saying be all in one house together? Like, how was that for you? The only moment I questioned, like, why is this happening, mm-hmm. was when I lost my dad, and mm-hmm. I was kind of forced to just be here and be with this side of my family. Yeah. Which, granted, I love my people, for sure. so it's not a problem, but. Other than that, it was just yeah. like, it was literally like a big sorority yeah, house. Yeah, it was, it was party, mostly yeah. women, yeah. yeah. It was mostly women, but it's all these different personalities, all these different upbringings mm-hmm. under one roof. No, for sure. Grandma holding it down. Yeah. And not only that, my mama, because my yeah. mom was like considered the the warden, the okay. breadwinner. She was a correctional officer, so that's why. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, she ain't play no games. She ain't play no games. Yeah. <laughs> she ain't play no sure. games. Yeah, now, um... I lost a parent. I lost. Well, I lost both my parents. What I'm talking about. I lost my dad when wow. I was uh, 13. My mom when I was 24. Oh, sorry. So tell me, like, with your dad being gone, do you ever think about like how life would be different with him around? All the time. Okay. Granted, I don't beat myself up as much about it as a uh, much as much as I used to. As mm-hmm. like now, I'm a lot stronger. Like I can handle 
the situation a lot more. But before, when it came down to prom, when it came yeah. down to my birthday, when it came down to dealing with men, mm -hmm. it was like, dang, like if you was here, I wouldn't make the decisions that I'm yeah. making. That's what I was going to say. Like dealing with guys, like you think some of those mistakes was made because you had that? Definitely. That male like, example? I, again, I like almost idolized my dad. Mm -hmm. So when it came down to dating men and like, I would literally look for that. Yeah. Like, I will almost, like, I would say to myself, like, oh, he reminds me of my dad. I would yeah, date this person. For sure. Like, oh, he he takes care of me. Like, he treats me, like, this way. So, mm. I want to date this person. And now, I realize you can't think like that. No, no, no. That is a mindset that will always lead you to a dead end. For sure. For sure. Hell so, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now, in the, in the crib, you got 15 people in there, including yourself. Mm -hmm. Music-wise... Who was the people you was gravitating to just because you was hearing your mom or your uncle or your or your grandma? Like you was liking them because of because of you know what I'm saying just because of them. Like you didn't have an ear for music yourself, but you were just loving what your parents was playing. Um. Well, my dad and my mom were like my main source of like where my music was coming from. Okay. My mom was big on Fantasia. Yeah, she was yeah. listening to um, Jaheim. Yeah. Um. My dad was listening like music like Planet Rock and mm -hmm. Biz Marquee. For sure. And I used to love that. Like, yeah. I used to be, okay, yeah. Planet Rock, what? I used We used to get in the car and I would literally request a song, like, play that. Yeah. And be jamming out. So, I'm a, I'm big on the oldies. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Them old school uh, R&B. Ain't nothing like it. Boy. Yeah. Ain't and it's like not it. the same no more. Hell no. Because they, they get right to the point. Like, let me fuck. Like, <laughs> that part. That they, part. They like, kinda, you know what I'm saying? Hey, can we take my time? Like, let me take sauce it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> like, they, they like, hey, can we fuck? Like, back in the day. Shit, they 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 sing it to you. They they taking you on a date, holding your hand, walking through Man, the park. Man, you ain't getting that. No you know more. what I'm saying? All that good stuff. Nah, he's get straight to the point. Like, Bust it wide open. Yeah, man. we fucking or what? Like that's it. Though. That's all. That's all it is to it. Now, what you got your own ear for music, and you start like having your favorite artists and stuff like that. Like who who are, who are those people? Um, I can't say like because a, a lot of people say like who do I look up to artist wise, mm -hmm. but as far as just like my favorite music, mm -hmm. um. My main like bops playlist is like Missy Elliott, mm -hmm. it's Busta Rhymes, it's Ludacris, it's okay. Life Jennings, yeah, um, Eve. See, see, Eve don't get talked about enough. Yeah, she's like, so. Oh my she god, sucked on. she sucked. Eve was hard. She was fire. Yeah. Love is blind. I Man. play that song on yeah. repeat. That was a good ass video and everything. The whole yes. concept of it. Yeah. Storyline. Like, I don't. Yeah, Eve don't get the respect that she. You know her just do. Yeah. Eve sure. was. Eve, she was dope. Real forgotten about. My, but as far as like more up to date. Cash Kid will always be a favorite of mine okay. because of his lyrical. Like, yeah. I don't I don't really care to just hear a bunch of stuff that does not have wordplay or substance. Mm -hmm. Um besides that, female wise, Ken the Man. Mm -hmm. She she's like this masculine, feminine, hard body. She from here? No. Okay. She I don't actually know where I, well, I wanna say she's from Texas, maybe. Okay, okay. She's real low key though. She's not really like a mainstream artist, mm -hmm. but she's fire. Okay, okay, okay. Now I'm gonna I want to get to your high school years because you said that's when you became a menace to society. <laughs> <laughs> like what, what 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 school you went to and like how was those high school years for you? Surprisingly enough, I went to Groves. I okay. went to Groves okay. High School in Birmingham. Yeah, Birmingham Groves. Yeah. Yes, a uh, white high school. Mm. Um, and I was not the kid that like jumped through different schools. Yeah. Like when I tell people I went from kindergarten to eighth grade at one school. Oh, for real? And yes. And then I went to high school all four years at yeah. one school. Yeah. They'd be like, what? Yeah. My yeah. mama didn't play that job. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bouncing around. Yeah. It was none of that. Yeah. So I, would you have that, that good student, good grades, sports? Um, I cheered for my freshman year. Sports was not. I quickly learned sports was not my Man, for thing you, yeah, at yeah, all. For like sure. you was not about to have me in the rain. Yeah, and I don't <laughs> you like sweating. sweating. I, was about to about saying. <laughs> I don't like sweating. I don't like being hot and bothered. So okay. no. Yeah. Um, a great student. Uh, I did my best. <laughs> yeah, you did what <laughs> I you had to say do. that. I did what I had to do <laughs> to make sure I made it to the next level. For sure. For sure. Um, but besides that, I was just more so, I was really copacetic. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't, I wasn't the drama starter. Mm -hmm. I spoke to everybody. I was pretty neutral. Mm -hmm. Whatever your problem was with this person, that was your problem. Yeah. Don't involve me in that. Yeah. I'm cool with everybody until they bring me an issue. But For sure. high school was really cool. I was never just like, granted, when I say menace, 
I wasn't out here just fighting everybody, yeah, 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 nothing yeah, yeah. like that. Granted, I did get into my situations, but they had a problem with me. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It was, it, was, it was on them. It was on them. Yeah, they brought that shit to you, yeah. But my menace behaviors was more so inside the household. Okay, okay. So it got real sticky Yeah. At so, home. Something you can speak on or no? Um, I'm open to it now. Like yeah. me and my mother, we have an understanding and mm. I've grown very much since then. And mm. that was also a learning experience for okay. me. But we used to like, our situations would get physical. Mm. I was very like set in stone with who I was mentally. Mm. Like you couldn't tell me nothing. For sure. I knew what I wanted and yeah. I knew how I felt and all this stuff. And I also felt very misunderstood because yeah. I lost my dad at a young age. Mm. I kind of like, put that on my mom a lot like yeah. damn I'm like this not what I wanted yeah 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 <laughs> you, so with y'all beef was it like sometimes mo mothers can be frustrated with how their life is going they take out on the kids like not purposely it's just that's just how it is so you think because maybe she wasn't like happy with certain things in life maybe relationships like you know what I'm saying? Because I know a lot of times I'm just speaking on my experience a lot of times we used to always me and him joke about my mom mm -hmm. being a uh, mad as hell all the time like she's be mad mm -hmm. but it would be, i understand now as i got older i understand why she was so frustrated you working a job you raising two boys you not finding the right relationship so sometimes you might come home and take that out you know what i'm saying so yeah. do you think that was kind of like on your side honestly not really i will give her like the utmost benefit of the doubt i think with my mother she just felt like she was doing everything she could as a mom mm -hmm. And most of that dealt with financially. Yeah. So what I was missing was the emotional side because mm. her her energy had to be divided up into work and playing a dad mm. and making sure things were taken care of. And I had certain stuff. Yeah. The motherly side of things mm. went missing. Yeah. And it's also because she was raised to be like a hard body herself. Yeah. So when I would like say certain stuff or like say like emotional things she'd be like girl could be insensitive like, yeah, yeah 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 for sure so that left me in like damn i'm a girl like, yeah no yeah i'm supposed to experience these emotions but yeah. now i'm realizing i can't yeah i yeah. have to like really be a machine yeah. for real for real and is, that, is that hard on you now like do you find yourself not being like the emotional one because you was kind of like taught to suck that shit up because i like with my kids a lot of times especially with boys you be like you ain't supposed to cry. Yeah. Oh, shit, man, you, it's okay to cry sometimes. Like, it's all good. And that's honestly how I would process things. Like, crying and stuff like that, showing emotion is a weakness. And mm -hmm. life kind of threw that in my face itself outside of my mom. Like, yeah. just situations that I dealt with, my emotions would go, like, ignored. Yeah. Now I'm, I'm getting to a point, like, literally just now, maybe like a month ago, I'm yeah. getting to a point where I'm like, yeah, bro, like, you need to go cry. Yeah, no, for sure, no. <laughs> like, no. stop telling yourself get over it and yeah. you're a machine like yeah. i just had somebody that i was like pretty close to that got killed yeah and i cried for one day and was like you got to get over that yeah 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 but no you ain't over that yeah shit, <laughs> like you know you gotta face yeah. your emotions so. for sure and i'm not trying to be a dr phil ass nigga but <laughs> <laughs> can that fuck up a relationship with with a with a with a, with a, with a dude because sometimes you know Y'all both can't be hard, bumping heads, and you know what I'm saying? Because it's already hard for dudes to get an yeah. emotional side to a woman, you know what I'm saying? Show that side. And you coming from that side, too. Like, can have that been something that you could say messed up relationships because you're not emotional at all? You know what's crazy? I never really thought about that. I mean, when you, you come on this ask? podcast, Kay, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I really like, like to take in what you, people say and stuff. So I, I just, never thought about that, but now that I'm thinking on it, yes. Yeah. Uh, like greatly um it would be times where like uh, my past relationship he would bring stuff to my attention and like it would be kind of aggressive but he was just explaining his emotions yeah. and i would grow cold yeah i'd be like whatever i ain't hearing that for sure yeah like it is what it is and then when it comes to just like dating dudes on a regular basis um i'd be quick to cut somebody off yeah i don't care what the <laughs> issue was yeah. i don't care that your people's Something happened to them the other day. Mm -hmm. You supposed to act this way, sure. and you didn't. Goodbye. And like I said, see, and that come back like from the, from the crib. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like how you say you and your mom was, and she was like super stern and, and strict, and was that crying shit wasn't you know what I'm saying yeah. what's gonna happen? Empathy so. wasn't really a thing. Yeah, so for sure. So now I have a hard time really like empathizing. Yeah, I remember my brother was 
this one he, he was telling this one girl how you feel and she's like nigga you crying like a girl You're like damn i'm just telling you how i feel <laughs> like I swear, we being like, human like damn so yeah that shit it's crazy but yeah you you gotta be able to vent you gotta be able to accept it yeah as a, you know what I'm saying as a young lady you can't be like nigga stop crying nigga like right right <laughs> you know what I'm saying how, how you and your mom relationship is now we cool yeah like that's granted we we don't we don't we're nothing like how I was in high school but yeah. that's my mom for one at the end of the day for sure you are gonna expect that I, I have yeah this, that's just what it is yeah I love her and right now we just like I always say like me and my mom are more sisters okay. than anything like yeah. We we kind of we literally like sisters. I don't have like that whole dis- disciplinarian type yeah, of vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Granny, she'll be like, you know, you got a smart mouth, or you. Yeah. Da, da, da. But sure. we are very much at a good space. Yeah, I stay on that cry, John. When last time you had a good cry? What was the reason? A good cry. Yeah, <laughs> good cry. <laughs> <You're> like, ah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I ask everybody this. I don't. You know, most niggas be too thug. To answer the question. Honestly, I can't actually say like what the reason was behind yeah. that good cry. Mm-hmm. But the last good cry I had was, I, I believe it was July fifth. Okay. And obviously, I can remember the yeah, day. I say, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, that yeah. was that was a big. It was either June or July fifth, but it was definitely the fifth. The fifth, yeah. Yeah. I went through something that I never thought I would experience, and it mm-hmm. took a very big mental toll on me. Mm-hmm. Again, I'm not gonna say what the scenario uh-huh, was. You got to, but you got to. That was my my last like real yeah. good cry. Hell yeah, See, I cried like two weeks ago. I ain't gonna lie. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> no, I, I wish I, I could say. No, the same. reason why, cause my auntie just be doing crazy stuff, man. Mm-hmm. She don't do crazy stuff, but she sent the picture of my mama. I'm like, oh shit. Uh. I wasn't <laughs> crying hard, but it's like little, you know, a little tear came down, like. You know what I'm saying? It was a picture I'd never seen before. I'm like, damn. Mm-hmm. I'm at work like, hold on, let me go to the bathroom real quick. Somebody won't see me real quick. Yeah. Get that little crying real quick, put some worry in your face, and then go back. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, we go through our, we go through nah, motions. It's all, it's all good. It's yeah. all good. What's something you wanted to be as a youngin' that you never told nobody? Um, me, I want to be a tap dancer. Really? Yeah. I mean, I don't really have nothing that's like really a, a secret, really, because yeah. I say it. Like, yeah. this is what I want to be, and this is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, I used to want to be a bottle girl. Oh, a bottle girl? <laughs> yeah, like, you know how everybody had that trend of, like, just being yeah, a bottle girl? for sure. I mean, besides that, I wanted to be a divorce lawyer and a marriage counselor. Yeah. And my people used to be like, really? <laughs> yeah. That's a whole lot. Like, what make you want to do that? Yeah, that's something you still think about or no? Nah? Um, I think about it more so as, like, dang, I used to want to do this and I look where I am. Yeah. But... Nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm straight. I yeah. ain't trying to be in school that long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now most people when they get into the music shit, they they start early. But you started because of your ex, and you got to a competition. But the ex part, like, talk about that, like, because you, you brought it up briefly on the other show when I was, you know, yeah. I, was, I was digging. But you were in deep dive, like, like it was it to be like, nigga, I'm better than you because you said he do music too. It it wasn't necessarily to to be like I'm better than you, Granny. You the, better than him? The re- <laughs> <laughs> like, granted, I'm better than that nigga. I, w- but- I wouldn't say that. I'm not even going to say that. No, I'm talking shit. I was, granted, I did have a moment in me, and this was just, like, the anger in me mm-hmm. getting to a point where it's like, yeah, I'm trying to be better than you. Yeah, for sure. But it, the reason why I got to that point was because this was somebody that really used to, like, can I cuss? Hell yeah. Uh, this was somebody that really used to, like, shit on me. Okay. Like belittle me call Do, me during the relationship or after this was like during like while we were oh, dealing with granted on. we had like our hard times and stuff like that but come on whole ass man and like, <laughs> i won't even say that because maybe he's grown since yeah. then maybe hard maybe yeah but at that time he used to really like say some like low stuff stuff yeah. that like i wouldn't even think to say to somebody for sure so when i realized that i was capable of doing that and yeah. that was something that he enjoyed it was like see you was too busy like shitting on me to realize yeah to realize that i really have a gift that sure. we could have came together on and no. worked as a team on but instead you treated me like i added no value to you yeah for sure hell yeah so that's really what it was and i he don't even really get too much 
platform. Like, yeah. good thing I ain't seen his name because he would never get his name said. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and I have, have he reached out to you since he's seen you do music? Like, yes. Oh, this is what you want? Yes. <laughs> yes. Exactly. We, we, we've definitely been around each other in the same space. Granted, because yeah. I'm still a young woman trying to, like, move past that. And For I sure. just, I can honestly say I just recently felt like, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, hell yeah. You don't have no space in my life and I could really give two fucks if I have space in yours. For sure. Goodbye. For sure. But... Yeah, and he would say like we we gonna do some music together, da 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 da. But that would always be like stuff that he would say just to like get me back around. Yeah. Type. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, at the end of the day, whoever doesn't see your value initially would yeah. never see it. Hell yeah, don't go back to that shit. Yeah, it's hey, not worth that. it. You you dope. <laughs> and I'm I'm really reaching the stars like yeah. quickly and on my own without that. No, for sure, for sure. Now talk about your style, cause uh. When I post that, that little, what's that? I posted my story of your song. Mm -hmm. I had like four people hit me up, like, dog, she sound hard. Like, and with me, the thing that made me want to talk to you is when I seen the, uh, what's that? I'm like, I like your delivery. Mm -hmm. I like your flow. I think like, I did, I, I interviewed a couple, a couple uh, ladies on the show and stuff like that. But to me, I feel like your flow probably is the nicest and smoothest. Thank you. Like everything is clear and like you, you, you know what I'm saying? You talking your shit. Mm -hmm. So I ain't saying that shit because you next to me either. <laughs> <laughs> but talk about your your sound. Like to me, I kind of get like a little Foxy Brownish in it. I do get that a lot and I do listen to Foxy Brown. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I like to, t like I said, I like the oldies. For like sure. I love the old music more than I like what's new. Yeah. So, yeah. So talk about your style and like, like how long did it take for you? Like, like you said, you knew how long did it take for you to the, even discover your sound and your flow? Honestly, I still haven't figured out what exactly my sound is. Mm -hmm. I just go off of how I'm feeling and how the beat makes me feel. For sure. Um, my sound, I would say, the best way I can, I don't really even know how to answer that. <laughs> the best way I can describe myself as, like, what I'm trying to portray in my music is um, a king. Okay. But in a female body, like, this powerful dominance mm -hmm. at the end of the day and very much unapologetically yeah and smooth with it mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah no for sure smooth with it i yeah. like my words to flow like water yeah no that shit hard like I, yeah that shit hard like for real for real and as somebody just said versatile on my life and yeah. i would say versatile but that ain't even what i'd be trying to go for yeah yeah yeah. I just you just rap. Yeah, I just rap. Yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Now I, I was on your live, you know, the other day. Your, your sound wasn't acting right for a minute, but it got together. And you mm -hmm. were saying like how everybody kind of want that Rennie Rucci flow, and yeah. you want to do stuff outside the box. You don't want to be stuck in a Detroit box. Basically, was, right. was what I got from it. Are you afraid to kind of like I ain't gonna say afraid, but you, are you nervous to kind of like be on some different shit sometime because everybody want to listen to like one type of sound? I do because. Um, a lot of that will affect who's listening. Like at the end of the mm -hmm. day, you want to stick with the trends. You want people to listen. Yeah. So it does kind of discourage me sometimes mm -hmm. because I, uh, my words, like my wordplay is hard. Like yeah. I have stuff to say. Okay. But when it comes to entering uh -uh. these doors and being around certain people, they just don't want to hear that. Yeah. 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 So it makes it a challenge for me when it comes to making music. Mm -hmm. So what 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 type of stuff you want to like? You want a, a different genre? You want to get into like just so storytelling? Like what's some shit you want to do different from what you saying? What you putting out now? Like um, I don't want to be like this aggressive rap mm -hmm. all the time. Like I do like the sensual vibes, mm -hmm. and I don't always want to like cater to like beat up, like yeah, for sure. killing it, uh, yeah. da, da, da. I granted that is some stuff that I still talk about, but mm. I just I have more to say lyrically. Yeah. I have real substance mm -hmm. to what I have to say yeah. versus the surface level. Put me in a chain or I'm yeah. drippy and my sure, boobs yeah. big. Like Hell yeah, look at my ass. You feel <laughs> me? Like I just want people to really listen to yeah. me. Yeah. Now, um, would you tap into you and talked about your your growing up and things like that, relationships and stuff. Would you tap into that type of stuff into your music? And maybe it's somebody who want to hear that. Like, I wouldn't mind, honestly. Uh -huh. Like the music that I put out thus far have all been based on my mood, and I have to be unapologetic about that mm -hmm. when I put it out. And if you really listen closely and you get to know me as a person, you will realize a lot of the stuff that I talk about is are my real life experiences. For sure. yeah. And you'll be like, oh, okay, I get why she said that. Yeah, yeah. First time in the studio, how was that? How good or bad was it? 
Um, I I, honestly, you would probably have to ask the person that was recording me. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, I was I was nervous. Yeah. Oh my goodness, for so <laughs> long I would get in there and almost have anxiety yeah, attacks. Attack. Yeah, I say yeah. Yes, because I was so scared of like how good I was. Mm-hmm. Like, wow, I could really do something. Yeah, with this. for sure. Yeah, and that. A surprise that scared me. Yeah, hey, sometimes success can be scary. Yeah, because <laughs> you don't know if you can handle it. Right, yeah, right. Like, hey. Damn, like you fired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's some things you need in the studio? You need people, friends, food. I don't need nobody but a dark room. Okay, you good to go. I'm good to go. Maybe some water. I eat yeah. all day anyway, yeah. so that's like that's second nature to breathing for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't really need nobody, nothing. What about mm. engineer wise? Like, do you like working with the same person? Yes. Okay. I, I answer that quick. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I got my ace, boom, cool, Who's that? give him chills. Okay. Um, he also does music, mm. but every song that you've heard me record, mm. pretty much every song I've made with him. And do he be a type of person be like, hey, you ain't putting enough energy in this or this don't sound yeah, right? Yeah, like he'll give his suggestion or he'll be like, I feel like you should have said something different. Yeah. Or, yeah, let's let's run that back. Okay. And um, there was somebody else who gives me good advice. His name is Nate Nitty. He's mm-hmm. an artist as well. He's very good on, like, picking apart sound. Mm-hmm. But definitely <clears throat> my engineer is like, but we actually – were friends in high school. Like okay. I used to hang with a group of people, and he was one of the people in that group. So oh, yeah. we've so been y'all locked good. in. Yeah, 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 y'all good. Then I can't, I can't switch on my day yeah, ones. Like you, you, we mentioned food. You say you love food. Like can my you cook? stomach rumbling right now. Can you cook? Um, I, I can cook what I eat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so Dante coming over, John. You like Dante? You really like Dante and stuff, and you uh-huh. want to impress him? What you cooking? Okay, Dante coming over. First of all, <laughs> do Dante like seafood? Because if he do, it's like... Oh, shit. It's Hell up. yeah. Shit. I'm, I'm Dante taking it shit. back to I the like basics. It. Seafood is the shit. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm taking it back to the basics. Um, I love salmon. Okay. I'm addicted to salmon. Yeah. So I'm going with the stuffed salmon okay. with mashed potatoes and like sweet peas or something. Okay. I'm cold on the sweet peas. <laughs> <laughs> um, or I'm like making like macaroni or something like. Yeah, I yeah. like the soul food, so. Okay. I'm All right, now how your mac- is your macaroni? Is it the type of macaroni you pick up? That motherfucker's just fall. No, I'm like- my macaroni's fire. Okay. Well, oven cooked. All got right. a little stiffness to it. Got to be some stiffness. All yeah, right, man. It's me giving and, grandma. Me and producer Q got to come get some macaroni and shit, man. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> Hell yeah! Now, uh, September 28th, you dropped uh off the leash. Yes. Uh, was you nervous about dropping the whole body of, of work? No. And oh, okay, and what's and what's been the response for it so far? Um, it's been pretty good. Granted, a part of the, like, slow pace would be just how I'm pushing it mm-hmm. and my marketing. I'm still trying to, like, master that. Mm-hmm. But everybody, I've been getting nothing but good feedback. Every mm-hmm. time I post, it's yeah. fire emojis. Um, I get a lot of people hit me up, like, that's hard. Mm-hmm. Please make some notes. Um, I've been playing this EP over and over again. For sure. And honestly, it is the first project that I've dropped. Like, the first section of songs that I've dropped that I personally play on repeat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate hearing myself. Yeah. But that right there, yeah. oh, I'm turned. You say you hard, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I think I was following you, but I didn't really see you posting, and then all of a sudden, I just, bam, bam, music, music, music. Yeah. I'm like, damn, she's hard. Like, <laughs> and then I saw, you, I, I saw you make, I don't mention other podcasts on the show, because it's the best podcast in the city, but Flat out. he's like, yeah, I can't wait to get on this podcast. I'm like, oh, she must don't know about mine. <laughs> 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 love that you feel me so like, let me go ahead and reach because i had um you work with big court i had her on here on the show love her detroit diamond mm-hmm. uh uh ishi cash you oh know? ishi cash yeah love her yeah see, she she cool she cool yes she, she funny is. as hell uh what's her what rap doll rap doll she get mad you call her rap doll that was her uh her she said that was her first rap name really so that's how you hit her up yeah what a rap dog what <laughs> oh yeah she gonna beat me up <laughs> <laughs> rap dog and uh i think they was calling her she hawk because she mean or something like that so she is she ain't mean but she got that like don't fuck with me yeah face. she do she yeah. got that like she got that like yeah. rest in face yeah. but she actually cool yeah, sure. she cool she's, yeah. she's real cool i'm posting the clips what a rap dog she gonna take a <laughs> now um you want you want to sit on this for a minute before you drop any other project because you know sometimes you want to just sit on something get out there so everybody can hear it and not rush to the next one you like fuck it i want to put this out but i want to rush into another ep like top of the year I I'm I want to say yes. I have been sitting on it. I don't mind like pushing it a little bit more, but I am working on another EP. Okay. okay. And like right now. It's going to be actually two. 
Oh, it's gonna be like different, some type of different approach, or like yes. okay, very yeah. much different vibes. Yeah. Um, I'll give like a little insight. One of them is like a lot of drill. Okay, I've never. I see the way you rap it. I, I can see that. I can see that. I can see you going really? hard on that shit. Yeah. Whew, cause I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> it's been a challenge. Mm -hmm. Um, but I also am working on an album, and I'll actually say the name of that one is called Real Shit. Okay, and um. Um, it's it's more of me talking. Okay. It's like conscious. Okay, bet. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I can't yeah. wait to hear that one. Shit, I can't wait to hear both of them. Shit, that drill should be hard. <laughs> just, now, uh, you you dropped well, it was nine tracks on your on that project, right? Uh, yeah, I'll say more so eight yeah, because you, one of them's like a spoken word. Yeah, yeah. The end, the last track. Yeah. Give me your top three tracks on there. Mine's is Rennie Rucci, uh, Baby Days, and Foreplay. That's about the same for me. Oh, so we Honestly, same, we same. yeah, we on the same type of time. Foreplay yeah. is my like, that's my baby. Okay, okay. I love foreplay. Hell yeah, no, you went that 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 really went. I'm like, you was on your your '90s shit. Yeah, and yeah. that's honestly the vibe that I want to push more. That like lyrical, yeah. suave. Yeah. Um, baby daddies was just like this. What I got on my chest, and I need to put it on the like it's on the floor. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. And Rennie Rucci was just like, they I say, was turnt. That nigga put down their hoochies in this Honestly, <laughs> when I wrote that song, somebody had me messed up. Man. And when I wrote it, I said to myself, I need to show them who I am. Yeah, niggas in the hoochie daddy. Yeah. It's, Man, yeah. old ass niggas in hoochies. <laughs> <laughs> now I got this junk called Talk About the Bars. I'll take a piece of a song we talk about real quick. Okay. All right. Uh, you said on Candy Freestyle, you said, no, the boy can't fuck. Oh, the, the boy can't fuck no dick. Damn, I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> and another boy can't fuck another dick weak body. No, dick weak body licking it. Yeah, yes. yeah. Is that something? <laughs> <laughs> and that's with, with, <laughs> is that something that women be like? If he can't do that, then he can't do the other shit for sure. Honestly, I don't know. Yeah, but that's my mindset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, a lot of women say that, like, if he can't get past that, that, you know what I'm saying? The first block, that nigga ain't coming down to the next one. And really, when I said that, it was more so of like a lesson for the women. Yeah. To like save yourself. Yeah. Like get the head. And if it's trash, yeah. that should be even more of a reason why you should not open <laughs> yourself up to this man. Cancel it. Cancel it. Hey, Reject. This, this dude clown me because I <laughs> I gave head before I even got some ass. So he clowned me and he should have clowned me. I was, it's okay. I was like fifteen. I was fifteen. I was just I think I was more curious because they used to tell me, like, yeah, when you get older, you're gonna do that. I'm like, hell no. And then one day we eating high ready and watching um Loving basketball and you know one thing led to another. The daily dose of vitamin C ain't never hurt nobody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now you said ain't trying to have ain't trying to have a baby, so pull out and next time your ass come quick, you sleeping on the couch, on yeah. nonchalant. <laughs> you taking me back? <laughs> yeah, you, I, I was. Well, I'm listening. I'm listening to everything. Um, that was actually like I was. I felt some type of way around that time. Yeah, and that was just more so like nigga, you can't. You can't play me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't act like you got the one up on me, and this is what you're doing. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Hey, we had like, bad nights sometimes. Yeah, but you ain't. Uh uh. <laughs> uh, -uh. When you pop in your shit as a man, and you try to act like you this kind of a yeah. See, that's better. why you gotta lowball yourself, sell yourself short, and then surprise them. <laughs> you sell yourself too short. I ain't trying to find out. <laughs> no, you, you know, that's like with somebody. I play basketball. Back. Can you hoop? I'm straight. I ain't about to overdo myself. I might That's, have a bad. I, might I have feel a, that. You know, I might have a bad hoop day. I might, then, but if I be like, yeah, nigga, I'm, I'm, nigga, I could hoop, nigga. I'm Steph Curry out here, like, and you go out there looking crazy, like, damn. No, for real. You, keep that shit in the middle. That's how I am with the music. Yeah. Keep, keep, like you hard. I be like, yeah, I'm straight. Thanks. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> then be like, so you say you straight, you get in the booth, like, oh shit, you you crazy with it. Right. Or I'll be like, oh, she, she ain't, you know, she said she was like, right. <laughs> you feel me? I told you. Yeah. I ain't surprised you now. Hell yeah, not on uh, Let's Touch. That's when you got in your singing, your singing bag. Yeah. You say what basic moves, that's old news. It's new and improved. Come show me what else you can do. Flat out. So when you when you you know, sexual encounters with guys and stuff mm. like that, like or not even gotta be you, just you know, guys and women in general. Mm. And you, I, I I take that more so of in, in relationship. Things can't be basic. Like you gotta spice that shit up because shit, this who you with and this who you gonna be with. So you can't come in that bitch with the same lay down. You know, people gotta explore. Lay in your side. Like, like, like You gotta <laughs> explore. You can't be Boring. Yeah. Boring gets old. Yeah. So how do you explore? Is it like porn watching or just like, hey, let me put a wig on and I'm be <laughs> 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 Nigga put on the, on, the, on that on that police outfit on. Like, like... Uh... <laughs> you 
you know what? I'm going to answer because I talk about it in my right. I'm going to put it on the floor just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the, this is all I'm going to say. I am open to a lot of things. Okay. I I like having fun. Yeah. So I am open to it. Yeah. And yeah. What's the crazy thing you searched on Pornhub? <laughs> <laughs> so anybody... <laughs> I'm pretty basic. I don't okay. like too crazy and okay, stuff. Okay, nah, okay. I ain't, yeah, I ain't yeah. too crazy. And yeah. I got to send my nephew on live now. Nah. Oh, shit, what up, now? <laughs> Say by the bell. Yeah. Like, I always have people laughing. Like, I didn't search this to actually watch it. I just wanted to see, like, handicap. Yeah. I want to see handicap. I want to see like, how you Handicap. Do I, mean, I wasn't. For, it wasn't for no pleasure, no thrill. I just wanted to actually see. So the dude had picked the girl about the wheelchair. Uh -huh. And her legs was dead. So her legs was, like, hanging. He laid her down. He did what he had to do. So I was just I was just, just curious how that would look. Um, <laughs> I've searched up the whole like, what is it like, aggressive? Yeah. Like, would they oh, be like choking being her. on? <laughs> oh damn! <yeah. laughs> they can get real shots. <laughs> what? They they choke sheep damn near about to die. <laughs> See, no, now that's one thing. Creatively, I like, no, I can't choke you. I'm not doing that. I'm not. I, I just. I mean, maybe a little like hair, yeah, but I ain't about to put two hands on that motherfucker. It be the, like the machines and the, like the gadgets when yeah. they be putting the girls in like cages oh, and stuff. Yeah. I be like, oh y'all tweaking. Man, funny as hell. Now on um, <laughs> on uh, uh, celibate, you say uh, since a real bitch didn't treat her like a queen, deserve a king. Yes. So yeah. So tell me like, what's the dude? Like, how should he treat? You know, what I'm saying Kayla Wan, like how you how how do you uh, uh, expect a man to treat you like in a relationship? Like, I feel like a guy should treat me with, for one, the utmost respect. You should respect me. If you mm -hmm. don't respect your mama, I know you ain't gonna respect me. We can't talk. Yeah, for sure. Um, be understanding. I don't like a guy who is very much one track minded and mm -hmm. but expects you like when he slip up, you supposed to like understand like oh he's just having a hard yeah, time sure. or oh he's fighting demons me too yeah, yeah for sure me too yeah. i fought three yesterday yeah. and still had to come back and yeah, love they, you they kicked my ass i was i was i was hanging in that motherfucker though like be for real yeah. um and besides that like be able to cater to my mental like mm. A lot of these dudes cannot do that they mm. cannot hold a intelligent conversation mm. they cannot just like be a real man like sure. it's everything is real surface level yeah. a dude come with some money and be like i got it all yeah, yeah. i have all that i could ever give because i got a bank <laughs> yeah. well you and 50 million other niggas yeah. got a bank too everybody ain't broke now on the flip side are you being that queen that he deserved honestly i had to be for real with myself yeah, yeah be for real with us um i'm i'm a very good listener i will say that okay. i know how to have a conversation i can make a dude laugh mm. annoyingly because i guess i'm just funny yeah um <laughs> but i and i don't i don't know if it's just society getting with that but when it comes to reciprocating mm. i sometimes have trouble with that and yeah. i can be honest with that because sure. i feel like traditionally back in the day men provided mm. men held this role but now Dudes will sit up there and ask you like, well, "You gonna take me on a date? Yeah. You gonna buy me some flowers? Yeah. Hey, you? we might want some flowers. Take me on a date. Like, I want the flowers. I want the flowers. But shit, and, it, and granted, I don't mind. It ain't gotta be all the time, but, but spare the moment. Asking me? Oh no, is, I ain't gonna ask you. To ask uh, me. Hell no. I'm but, hey, can you ask me on a date? Like, no, I ain't gonna do that. I'll just expect you to do it. Like, I think you know. Of course, a man gonna you know for the most part, we 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 cater to the to the to the women and stuff yeah. when it comes to that stuff, but. It'd be cool if we just sit back chilling, you know, watching the game, and then you'd be like, hey, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's, get, let's get out real quick. It's on me. Mm -hmm. Then you talking about, shoot, it ain't nothing going to be based at that night. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn, you took me out? I had to spend, like, bet. All right. I spend money, though. Yeah. I'm not afraid to spend money, but if you think you about to come in with the mindset of we about to go 50-50, yeah. you can, yeah, take your own. Mm -hmm. Bye. Now, relationship-wise, I believe it just depends on how the money is being made. Both of y'all kind of on the same shit. I mean, you know, it could be 50-50 on, on bills. That's like understandable. That. Yeah. But if I'm like, shit, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm doing it, if I'm doing it big and all right, bet I take care of this big shit. You take care of little shit. Yeah. Right? It just depends on, it depends on what type of agreement y'all reach as a, as a couple. And a lot of dudes are very unrealistic yeah. these days. Like I attract a lot of scammers, yeah. a lot of rappers, a lot of people living a fast life in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. And these guys will be like, I don't want no 
broke girl. Yeah, like, for sure. I need her to buy me thousand no, dollar earrings if that. she want this, this, that, and a third. But like, be realistic. Yeah. As a woman, the only time you are making a, a big bag mm. is either because you're in the medical field, yeah. which is an interest, mm. because you're working at a club dancing or you're yeah. a waitress <laughs> and most of these dudes would be like i don't want no girl that work at a club yeah. uh, uh, well yeah. uh, what do you expect <laughs> yeah. if you want me to make x amount of dollars <laughs> a sure. day yeah, yeah, yeah. or i'm doing something illegal hank yeah. like rolling in the lane with the guys mm -hmm. or i'm running like a, a really good business mm -hmm. and that does not happen for every yeah. female like yeah. sometimes some girls are Working at Walmart. Yeah. They're working at Forever 21. Hey, I'm good. You get your grind on, baby. You feel me? Like, <laughs> get that grind. But yeah, yeah. it's dudes out here that look at that and be like, oh, she got a job. Let me attract to her. But then you realize her pay not hitting on yours. That's cool. As long as you got some goals. My that's the only thing. As long as you got some goals, man. Ambition. Like, we good. Like, man, hey. It is Everybody it is. needs to be like that. Hell yeah. Are you <laughs> are you, are you the type of person, are you looking for a relationship right now or are you just focused on yourself? Um, I date. Okay. But my main focus is my career and yeah. my mentality and just getting myself together okay okay because a lot of guys you find out in the long run are just a distraction yeah and i yeah. don't have time for that okay okay well, i said we could we could make a love connection out here real quick <laughs> class pot head what up though i'll check her out man <laughs> you know like but i do i do date i do i'm open to that i get to know um guys and i'm hmm. I'm just trying to see like what's for me out here. Yeah. I don't I don't limit myself and nor do I put all my eggs in one basket. Yeah. And I don't think like this man gonna be my husband tomorrow. For I sure. Don't. For sure, for sure, for sure. Hell yeah, good answer. Uh you, you say, um uh oh yeah. So I wanna talk about this. This is this is the last sexual jump we'll talk about. Mm -hmm. When you say one fuck that lamb tonight. <laughs> oh that song. Yeah. So is that something Flat that, out. Is this something you know, like <laughs> the women know off rip when they dating a the guy if they gonna give him that give it up or not. Like, yes. Like from like the first conversation. Well, at least I do. Yeah. I'd be looking at a dude from across the table like, ah, you was a snack. <laughs> Bite that nigga. Bite your ass. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't even know you as fine as you is. Man, that's funny as hell. But you definitely <laughs> know when you got a lame. Yeah. And you really know when you have a higher level of consciousness mm -hmm. and you can spot the red flags. But that also comes with not asking a man what his favorite color is. Yeah. Or you know, what he liked to do. Yeah. No. And I, I hopped on live and said that. Mm -hmm. Like, you need to ask real questions. What are your values? For sure. Hell yeah. What, like, how how many baby mamas do you have? Yeah. yeah you got five sure. kids. Do you got five baby mamas? Because <laughs> yeah, sure. I can't do it. Yeah. I yeah, can't for do sure. it. Yeah, because that's like my uh, my wife had junk. She, before when she got me, she said she'd never get with a dude with kids. But I had one kid. Just one kid. Mm -hmm. And she seen that our relationship was nothing like how she see her friends and stuff like that like we cool yeah. like like they get my son good me and his mom relationship is cool ain't no beef Shit, so it worked out yeah well based on what i've experienced <laughs> <laughs> total opposite huh <laughs> uh yeah Man. yeah it's hey. a lot of messiness that comes with that and that kind of scares me when it comes yeah. to dating men with kids For granted sure. i still do because that's kind of what i attract yeah but i still always have like my eye like yeah, it twitch yeah. a little like sure. it's really hell yeah hell yeah you know now I'd rather chase a check you said tunnel vision on the bed remember i was saving pennies yeah talk about those broke days we all had them um i went through a point where like i just i was not i couldn't figure it out like yeah. I, I I really started thinking like, damn, maybe I'm just not meant to like have that life. Maybe mm -hmm. I'm just not meant to get ahead. Mm -hmm. And I got to a point where I didn't want to ask people what could they help me and stuff like that. Because yeah. every time I would, you know, put my hand out, I would be met with you broke or yeah. when I'm going to get that back. And da, yeah. da, da, da. Like, damn, is you helping me or <laughs> yeah, for sure. is this a loan? You feel me? <laughs> yeah. like, and it would be people like that are blood related or like, like I said, who I was dating. Mm -hmm. He would be like, you ain't even got a thousand dollars to your name, but you got 20 and yeah. you ain't giving me shit. Yeah. And I don't even ask. Yeah. So like, damn. Yeah. So I, I really like, it put me in a real depressed place. Mm -hmm. And I went through a phase where I was like, Literally, and I said that in one of my songs before, in my case here, I was literally in my cup holders, like, taking a change out, like, damn, let feeling. me stay this up, <laughs> like, I went through stuff like that. Hell yeah, we all, we all been through that shit, yeah. 276 on Pump 5. 
Swear. <laughs> For real. Like, that $5 is going to make it a stretch. Hey, this shit going to make it around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we good. Man, for sure. No, for sure. Then last one, on that same one, you said, if that shit ain't working out, I humble self and punch a clock. Flat out. Like, so you you, you good. Like, y'all go get me a job real quick. I'm yeah. smooth. Yeah. If, and that, I feel like that's how anybody should be. A lot of dudes kind of get caught up, and I've been around guys, that's the reason why I say this. A lot of dudes get caught up in that fast money lifestyle, mm. and when they realize it's not working for them, they feel like that's all they have. Yeah. When all you got to do is go mop a floor or something no, for like sure, yeah, you know, <laughs> Maybe selling drugs is not for you. No, for you sure. are not Hell El yeah. Chapo, sir. <laughs> Hell yeah, I went so, there a long time ago. Shit, it ain't for me. Yeah, I be having to think realistically sometimes that if this is not working out for me, mm. at the end of the day, the, I still got bills to pay. Mm. The ball has to keep rolling. I don't ever want to be at zero no more. Hell yeah. No, for sure. You got to do what you got to do. I ain't take a lot of jobs like, damn, I don't fucking feel like working this shit. It's some bullshit. Okay. But, hey, like you said, them bills don't stop. Them bills don't be like, nigga, hey, I'm going to chill until you get that job you want. Right. <laughs> that motherfucker still going to come For in. Real. <laughs> For real. Every two, every two weeks, like clockwork. But uh, you said you was going to rap. I gotcha. appreciate it. We, you know what I'm saying? You sent the, the, the instrumental and stuff. Yes, yes. We got uh, You want to stand up? You want to sit in the chair? How you want to do it? Um, Make you comfortable. I will stay in the chair. Okay, bet. You can stay in the chair. Cool. You know what I'm saying? It's a shy style motherfucker Sunday, man. Got uh, Big K, K. Lewan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, she about to come in this bitch and, you know, spit something real quick for us and shit. Catch your eye, come flip the page like I'm a sutra. Fix the quirk, keep putting work like I'm in neutral. Vibe real different. Know I get the mind right, get your real lifted. When I come and hit the bong right, hood nigga, west side by side, pole down right. Brown chick from the six, turn you on like a headlight. Do the job now and feel it later like it's frostbite. Got the dope to hold you over till you see in daylight. I know this ocean have you floating, reach the coast and leave you dozing. Sun kiss K, moisten skin like lotions. Speaking to his bros about why he gloating. If he ain't fingering the coochie, then the straps, he toting drip potion. Get your focus, lost in emotion, hands choking, locking eyes, I can feel his emotions, oxytocin. Grab my sides, wanna feel the erosion, catch the notion, pressurizing the impending eplosion. Love how the tongue spits on the mic's a real bitch. Legs crossed when I sit in between's vicious. You can be my makeshift, turn you on for day shift. But shh, baby, loose lips sink ships. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Baby, loose lips sink ships. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Put him in the stool now. Hey, hey, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll give y'all my verse later and shit. <laughs> hey, I appreciate you rapping and shit. Because yeah, a lot, lot of people don't want to rap nothing. You know what I'm saying? And I always feel like, hey, why not? You know I what I'm saying? I what I do. Yeah. But like, that's why I said, like, your flow smooth. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't stumble. It's, it just it just come out smooth. Thank so that's you. what I like about your, your your whole flow and stuff like that. And I ain't just, like I said, I ain't going to say that just because you're right here. Like, I think that you can go you can go far with this shit. I just want you to make sure you keep putting music out. Because a lot of people come on the show... Like, man, she dropped a hard project or he dropped a hard project. Like, damn, that nigga ain't dropping no more music. Like, Oh, no. It's more coming for sure. <laughs> it's been a year and a half. So, what's some... Oh, that's granddad. We in the hood. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> what's some shit that you that you hate that you got to deal with with this music shit? I know it's... You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you've been doing it for two years. What's some shit that you hate? Um, This is probably the same for like a lot of women, but I go through a lot of situations where a dude will come at me on the business side of things. And then we start, mm -hmm. it, it. I start gaining that anticipation, like, okay, yeah, this yeah. about to go, this about to go. And then he flipped the script and be like, so when you going to be my girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say, I was going, <laughs> that was a question I had too, like how many dudes use music to try to get up on you? Almost every single one. <laughs> no cap. I know that DM is crazy. It, it do a little something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But almost every single person mm -hmm. has done that to me. And I'm like... Ah, yeah. Why can't we just be friends? <laughs> I know that. Like, what's that? What's on we can't be You friends. feel me? Like, yeah. I could be such an asset to you. Yeah. No, for sure. Yeah, for and sure. And I just feel like even if it does have the potential to get to that point where we are dating, mm -hmm. let it get there. Yeah. You don't have to mess up the motion. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you messed it up. Like, we thought we was going to be cool. You like, feel me? Man. Like, damn, we could have been friends and then it grew. Yeah, hell yeah, but, no, for sure, for sure. And y'all both could be on some, like I said, get money type of shit. Right. Now, uh, with the music shit, you're doing that, but what's something you want to do outside the music shit? Like, you say you, you got mm. the last the last business or whatever yes. like that. 
uh, I, I heard you you went to school for you know makeup and things like that, right? Yes. Yeah. So, what, anything else that you want to do outside of those things? Um, that was actually my main goal. Like, mm -hmm. rap was never again a thing for me. Mm -hmm. Um, I plan on franchising, opening up buildings, specifically mm -hmm. destination spots. Yeah. I would like to open up, um. Some type of leadership camp, mm. um, academy for young women who really don't have the guidance yeah. and who need to like hop in their bag. For sure. I want to open up a gateway for that. And yeah, that's really my goal mm. for real. I, I'm supposed to be starting back school in spring. Mm. And my major was uh, business management with entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. So if all else fails, I will be a business consultant. Okay. And, you, and you answered the question earlier. My, my, my dog had hit me up and told me to ask you if you had a manager, but you said that already. So I don't. Oh, you don't? Mm -hmm. Oh, Diddy. Hey, man, come on. You know, you know, talk to her. See what you get. <laughs> My dog Diddy, he be doing a lot of stuff. And he worked with, uh, you know, a couple of artists and stuff. One of them mm -hmm. had just passed away. Uh, wow. It's a motorcycle accident. And then he also worked with a lot of uh, black brand black brand liquors. Okay. So, yeah, maybe I don't know, you know. Yeah, maybe, maybe you can. Hear him out. Honestly, I'm going to keep it a buck, though. When it comes to management, I'm a, I am ai take it very seriously. For sure. My business, I take it very seriously. I treat management how i treat dating you yeah. can't have no other options yeah for sure <laughs> yeah for sure i'm your main bread but see, and butter he got see he got one dude named uh shout out to dave new wave dave dave is mm -hmm. just a producer oh okay so shit, hey you know start team hey, just bring, yeah, bring me into it you know what I'm be, be, my, podcaster my rapper producer we all be in this bitch together <laughs> <laughs> right right hell yeah now uh you 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 young when this mm -hmm. show came out but making the band p diddy had show making the band mm -hmm. and you know he had what Four, five people make one album. Mm -hmm. So if it was you and four other people, what's your making a band album? It could be singers, rappers, producers, you and four other people to make this one album. Um, I'm making a band. Um, Nia Imani, crazy okay. singer. Okay, okay. Shout out to um, her. She post came on the show a couple times. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Next person. <laughs> so, um, no, she good though. She good. Shout Blueprint, out to you. Blueprint Bentley, fire. Oh yeah, she dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah she love dope. her. Okay, um, so you got a singer, you got a rapper. Yes. Um, damn, how many people? Yeah, uh, two more people now. Cause you, Nia, Blueprint, Blueprint. Um, and you got two more people to complete this who band. Else? Uh, damn, it's not as easy as I thought it'd be. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a a, a guy actually. Mm -hmm. Um, his name's Devon. When I tell y'all, this is. And I don't boost everybody up. Yeah. This is one of the best, most underrated male artists in Detroit. I listen to artists all the time, and he's like a Busta Rhymes. Okay. He is so lyrically fired, What's it his blows name? my mind. D Vaughn. Okay, I'm going to have to look him up. Oh, I'll send him to you. Okay, but yeah, yeah send it. I vouch for him a thousand percent. Hey, she vouched for you, brother. Yes. Okay. Love him. So um, you got one more person. Let's complete the band. Uh,. Completing the band. Yeah. <laughs> um. I don't really know that last spot. Yeah, that's really spot hard. Really tricky. I don't. I don't know. I let's, can't think of nobody. Let's do a producer. I can't even. <laughs> Granted, it's some great producers out there. Dodbh is one of the great producers that I'm working with. Mm -hmm. But I haven't actually worked oh, with shit. any other actual producers to even be able to say. Okay, okay. So it's is you and four then. I mean you and you and three. Y'all making y'all got a four a four man group then. Yeah. All I'll right. say oh, oh, I do got a girl. Okay. Um her name is Vana B and the B stands for B bitch. I like okay. her too. She's so fire. She's okay, she so from fire. Here? Uh no, she's from Chicago. Okay. But she stays here. Okay, 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 okay. So that's your that's your group. Yes, that's All my right, group. Bad, bad, bad. Now last thing I'm gonna ask you before we get to the, you know, my crazy questions. Ain't mm -hmm. too crazy. But uh what's your definition of success? Um being happy with where you are mentally. Okay. At the end of the day, because for sure. Success could be somebody who works at McDonald's who's providing for their family. For sure, hell yeah. And everybody's happy. Yeah. So that's my definition of success. Okay, okay. Now, top three. I give you a category, whatever you give me your top three. Got gotcha. you. Top three childhood crushes. Celebrity wise? Yeah, I don't want to know about Craig and Dante now. Okay, got gotcha. you. <laughs> <laughs> um, celebrity question, crushes. Yeah. Um, his name's Brent. I don't remember his last name, but he was on like Disney Channel. He was like this real awkward. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, dang, you said childhood though. Yeah. Um, childhood. B2K was where it was at. Like. Yeah. Raz B. 
Man, like they was, was like, all I know you fine. Like a they was all fine. Yeah. Um, who else? I always loved LL Cool J. Okay, okay, shout out to LL. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, yeah, that's I can't really think of nobody else. So we say B2K and LL Cool J. Then. Yeah, because B2K okay. is a whole group. Top three, yeah, I know. Top three foods. Oh dang! I got this. Yeah. Tacos, salmon, and pasta. Yeah, I love tacos. I love tacos. <laughs> so soft shells or hard shell? Soft. Okay, okay. Yeah, I like that. What that, that boy be that, that little bowl? That yeah, that'll be dope. Oh yeah. Top three TV shows. Um, Fatal Attraction. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's his shit. He like all that job. Um, what else? Um, Confessions of a ki- Serial Killer. Okay, I see where you. I see where your head at. <laughs> What's that last and, word? Um, uh, anything bad girls club. Oh, you saying my bad wife? Bad girls, anything. Man, because well, that one girl, she said, because I be watching a show called Rap Shit. Uh huh. And I guess she on there, like she she an actor on there. Somebody else was just telling me about that show. That show dope. You should watch it. Yeah, my oh, it's my best friend. It's only like, like I think eight episodes for the first season. What network is that? I'm not sure. I watch everything on first. Dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think uh, I want to say since it's what's name, it gotta be HBO because it's uh, Issa, oh yeah, it's it Issa is. Race, it so, is. It so it gotta be HBO Max. Okay. Yeah. All gotcha. right. Give me your top three junk food. Junk food. Um, I love chips, specifically Doritos. Okay. Um, two would be those like pecan cinnamon roll thingies. Okay, sound good. Um, and chocolate cake. Okay. Okay. Top three moments in life. Yeah, that's a little uh, tough. Yeah, that was tough. <laughs> I know. I went from um, cookies to, to life shit. <laughs> the first day I got a car. Okay. I was 15. So oh, that so was great. You got your shit early. Damn. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what kind of car was it? It was a Nissan Versa. Okay. White. Okay. 2009, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. Okay, okay. Um, n- they not all going to be good moments for real, for real, but very eventful. <laughs> um, I was in a raid. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was very interesting. Yeah, it was. Um, they and, throw you in the ground? <laughs> yes, they did, no, actually. Was, Crested damn. my eyes, everything. Hair damn. scarf still on. Damn. Okay. It's very early in the morning. I'm going to ask about that, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and the time I snuck across the country, and my mom thought I was in Kalahari and I was Where? in Florida. Oh, shit. Damn. What was you, how was you? I was. 16, 17? Yeah, yeah, out here living. Yeah, I, w- I want to say I was probably 16, but granted, my mom was like on my ass, like even up to Man, 18, so. For sure. Hell yeah. Yeah, I was living. Hell yeah. Top three hood movies. Um, Tales from the Hood. Yeah, that's dope. That shit scared me, the pictures. Yeah. That nigga's coming out. They used to blow me. <laughs> hell yeah. Um, Crooklyn. Oh, hell yeah. And Ease Bayou. Oh shit, good good list. Hell yeah, Crook. Those all three was my childhood go to movies. Yeah, it was fire. <laughs> Hell yeah. Now, all right, give me your celebrity crushes now as a as as big you. Big me, <laughs> um, Michael, the one who plays in Power as the son. Oh okay okay oh, Tyreek. Tyreek yeah, yeah oh yeah. yeah oh yeah he got right. a girlfriend now he gonna have to get rid of that when I blow up. <laughs> um, Straight young your little chicks on that show. You, yeah. <laughs> hey, they twenty. Um, <laughs> Nardo Wick. All right. I like his vibe. Okay. And um, dang, you would think I just had him rolling out, but I don't really be crushing on these dudes so much. Right. Um, I can think of nobody else. All right, so I'll give you a top two for that one. Okay. All right, now since we didn't get to that one, my my typical last question, I'm gonna do a versus. I give you two things, you tell me which one wins. Let's go. Tall dudes versus short. Tall. Yeah, it's hard, but it's tall, niggas. Yeah, can't do it. <laughs> fall, <laughs> fall gear versus summer gear. Fall. All right. In person game versus DM game. In person. All right. Soul food versus seafood. Soul. Yeah. <laughs> 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 soul. Because yeah. you mentioned both of them. But salmon croquette can be considered a soul food. Yeah, soul for sure. Food. That's my shit. Hell. Yeah, it is. Because be, that should be good. I love that shit. Uh, give me Thanksgiving versus Christmas. Thanksgiving. All right, on your dressing, cranberry sauce versus gravy. Neither. What? <laughs> Are you crazy? I All right, listen, like it dry. <laughs> right now, I am about to get my own personal can for my auntie house and for my in-laws house. 
That's how serious I am with the cranberry sauce. I don't want to share it because I'm putting a whole loaf on that motherfucker. I've never been a cranberry sauce oh my. person. Yeah, you crazy. You crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Apple juice versus orange juice. Orange juice. Okay. I good. used to hate orange juice. Okay, okay, okay. Give me collard greens versus mustard greens. Collard greens? I mean, collard I don't greens even is those know thick what boys. Mustard... You, got, you got mustard, you got turned up, and you got collard greens. But collard greens are those thick boys. Collard greens. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Chicken wings versus chicken breasts. Chicken breasts. I don't eat chicken with a bone in it. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, so I know somebody like that. All right. Usher versus uh, Chris Brown. Usher. Usher? Yeah. Yeah, you a good person. Trey Songs <laughs> versus Neo. Neo is annoying. Trey Songs. All right. Lil' Kim versus Fosse Brown. Ah. <sighs> You got me. Yeah. Uh, Lil' Kim. Okay. Life Genius versus Jaheen. Damn. Because I, miss, I see you missing these people, though. Um, you quick. <laughs> <laughs> um, Life Jennings message. Okay. Young You versus You Now. Oh, me now. Okay, you say you good. <laughs> when you be in your, uh, let me see, so your singing bag or your rapping bag? Surprisingly enough, mm -hmm. the singing bags is really? when I have more to say. Okay, okay, all right. Like just how my message is portrayed, but the rap is just the lyrical. Yeah, and, for sure. Yeah. Drunk says versus sober. Drunk. <laughs> Everybody say that. <laughs> all right. This is the last question, and this is going. This is rated R. Okay. Ass eight versus pussy eight. Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> um. Honestly, I'm not a fan of neither. Okay. Surprisingly enough. Yeah, yeah. First but time I went back door. First, first time I went back door and the chick, it was a well, I said chick. My wife it was, it was COVID. COVID was a boring time, so we wanted to try something different. Oh, you playing a dangerous yeah, game like, in COVID? It's COVID. It's your wife. Fucking, okay. And we had my wife get a pass. My little daughter born now, so it was like, yeah, it probably was that day. Fair game. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Riley, my my daughter she was born because <laughs> I decided to eat some ass. <laughs> <laughs> and we went crazy. Oh my god. So, uh, good people. You know what I'm saying? Your socials where you can follow you at and all that good stuff. Um, yes. My social is Instagram, K L A J U A N underscore. Mm. Type that in anywhere. I promise you you're gonna find me. You ain't got Facebook? I do, but it's I was Le looking to get personal. Lawan Harrison. Okay, yeah, see <laughs> Oh, see, I I, I I typed in Carla again. Oh, it didn't come up. No, I'm yeah, like, no. I wanted to see what I see some old pictures. I mean, Facebook is janky. When you change your name so many times, they don't let you change it again. Oh yeah. So like, it's my middle name and my last name. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, dang. I, I was. Luan is my middle name, guys. I was really That's gonna dig in Okay. Well, you want you want to um end the show off with some positive words for somebody who need to hear it. Um, keep fighting. Mm -hmm. Never give up on the fight. And every battle you experience, your biggest one is spiritually in your head. You fight word. that battle, you gonna win. Yeah, I ain't even gonna even piggyback and say no words. <laughs> uh, hey, I appreciate you coming on the show. It was a pleasure you. talking to you. Uh, I'm glad you came on the show. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes I be doubting people. So yeah, you know what I'm saying? You did your thing, or whatever. I love an opportunity. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And um, like I said, it's the best podcast in the city, and she on it. Mm -hmm. um, it's your boy Shy, Voice of Detroit. We out. Peace out.